I'm here at Chisholm Hill Primary School in Bow, where there were extraordinary scenes this morning. Many young children on their half-term break came back to the school to protect their school street. They manned the barricades, they got loudspeakers out, and in the last few minutes, just around lunchtime, they've actually just scared off two van loads of builders who'd been sent here by Mayor Lutfer Raman, the Mayor of Tower Hamlets, to dismantle this school street. The children and their parents have sent a message that they are not prepared to have this school street axed. Well, I think it's very unfair because not, not only they will be disrupting our play, they will also be, be taking the risk for people to be run over. If we don't have this, and where do we play? Make the, make the pavement wide, maybe as wide as... That, that, yeah, that's the perfect for a playground. Police were actually on scene here earlier and left after speaking to some of the parents. But the big concern here amongst the campaigners is that although the workmen have gone today, they could be back tomorrow, the residents admit they can't keep this street protected at all times. So there is the fear that eventually the measures which are designed to keep children safe will be removed. I mean, I'm sure Mayor Rahman can see that this isn't really affecting traffic flow in the borough, if that's a concern of this. This is all about child safety, and it just seems very nonsensical to make such a large investment in child safety, and then just to take it away. Tower Hamlets Council and Mayor Luke Verramen have issued a statement to the Evening Standard explaining what's happened here. They're saying this school street was introduced under an experimental traffic order during the pandemic and that that law essentially has now passed and that the Mayor has decided not to extend the life of the school street in line with his manifesto pledge to essentially reopen the roads for traffic. However, they say that they do take the safety of children seriously and have offered to introduce some zebra crossings here or some sort of school crossing patrol. However, the reality is that this school street, which is meant to protect children, could be gone by Monday when school restarts and there'll be no immediate replacement measures to keep these children safe.